Prabhupad ki jai, Iskan founder acharya, Bibiti founder acharya, Savior of the whole world, Shila Prabhupad ki jai, Jai Om Vishnu Pada Paramahamsa Parivraja ka acharya, Ashtotar Shatra Shri Srimad, His Divine Grace, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Goswami Maharaj, Shila Prabhupad ki jai, Ananta Koti Vaishna Vrindh ki jai, Nama acharya, Shila Haridas Thakur ki jai, Prem se kaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gada Dhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrindh ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govar Dhan ki jai, Prajabhumi Vrindavan Dham ki jai, Namadvip Maya Pur Dham ki jai, Purushottam Akshetra Jagannath Puri Dham ki jai, Ganga Maya Yamuna Maya ki jai, Bhakti Devi Tulasi Maharani ki jai, Sama Veda Gaur Bhakta Vrindh ki jai, Padita Pavan Harinam Sankirtan ki jai, Shri Shri Rukmini Dwar Ka Dhish ki jai, Shri Shri Rukmini Dwar Ka Nath ki jai, Shri Shri Jagannath Valdev Subhadra Maharani ki jai, Shri Shri Gaur Nitai ki jai, Shri Shri Prabhupad ki jai, Shri Shri Prabhupad Transcendental Book Distribution ki jai, Nitai Gaur Premanande, All glories to assembled duties, all glories to assembled duties, all glories to assembled duties, all glories, all glories, all glories to Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudirayet Nashta Prayeshwa Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Ruttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Krishnaya Vasudevaya Devaki Nandanaya Cha Nanda Gopakumaraya Govindaya Namona Maha Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 7, Text 11. Yatha jale chandra masaha Kampadistas kruto gunaha Drishyate sannapi drishtur Atmano natmano gunaha Yathajale chandra masaha Kampadista kruto gunaha Drushyate sannapi drushtur Atmano natmano gunaha Yathajale chandra masaha Kampadista kruto gunaha Kṛto guṇaha Drishyate sannapi drishtur Atmano nātmano guṇaha Kampadistat kruto gunaha Drishtate sannapi drishtur Atmano na atmano gunaha Yathajale chandra masaha 
पादस्तातुण दृष्टते सन्नपि दृष्टो आत्मानो नात्मनो गुण यथा जले चंद्रम सह कंपादिस्तत्तो गुण दृश्यते सन्नपि दृष्ट आत्मानो नात्मन गुण यथा जले चंद्रम सह कंपादिस्तत्तो गुण दृश्यते सन्नपि दृष्ट वैष्णवीज यथा जले चंद्रम सह कंपादिस्तत्तो गुण दृश्यते सन्नपि दृष्ट आत्मानो नात्मन गुण यथा जले चंद्रम सह कंपादिस्तो गुण दृष्टते सन्नपिर्दृष्ट आत्मनो नात्मन गुण यथा जले चंद्रम सह कंपादिस्तत्तो गुण दृश्यते सन्नपि दृष्ट आत्मनो नात्मन गुण यथा एज जले इन द वाटर चंद्रम सह ऑफ द मून कंपादी क्विवरिंग एक्सेट्रा तत्ता डन बाय द वाटर गुण क्वालिटी दृश्यते इट इज सो सीन असन अपी विदाउट एक्जिस्टेंस दृष्टु ऑफ द सीए आत्मा ऑफ द सेल्फ अनात्मन ऑफ अदर देन द सेल्फ गुण क्वालिटी ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपुट बाय शील प्रभुपात शील प्रभुपात की जा ट्रांसलेशन एज द मून रिफ्लेक्टेड ऑन वाटर अपीयर्स टू द सीयर टू ट्रम्बल ड्यू टू बींग असोसिएटेड विद द क्वालिटी ऑफ द वाटर सो द सेल्फ असोसिएटेड विथ मैटर अपीयर्स टू बी क्वालिफाइड एज मैटर परपुट द सुप्रीम सोल the personality of godhead is compared to the moon in the sky and the living entities are compared to the reflection of the moon on water the moon in the sky is fixed and does not appear to quiver like the moon on the water actually like the original moon in the sky the moon reflected on the water should also not quiver but because of being associated with water the reflection appears to be quivering although in actual fact the moon is fixed the water moves but the moon does not move similarly the living entities appear to be tainted by material qualities like illusion lamentation and miseries although in the pure soul such qualities are completely absent the word pratiyate which means apparently and not actually like the experience of having one's head cut off in a dream is significant here the reflection of the moon on the water is the separated rays of the moon and not the actual moon the separated parts and parcel of the lord entangled in the water of material existence have the quivering quality whereas the lord 
is like the actual moon in the sky which is not at all in touch with water. The light of the sun and moon reflected on matter makes the matter bright and praiseworthy. The living symptoms are compared to the light of the sun and the moon illuminating material manifestations like trees and mountains. The reflection of the sun or moon is accepted as the real sun or moon by less intelligent man and the pure monistic philosophy develops from these ideas. In fact, the light of sun and the moon are actually different from the sun and moon themselves, although they are always connected. The light of the moon spread throughout the sky appears to be impersonal, but the moon planet, as it is, is personal, and the living entities on the moon planet are also personal. In the rays of the moon, different material entities appear to be comparatively more or less important. The light of the moon on the Taj Mahal appears to be more beautiful than the same light in the wilderness. Although the light of the moon is same everywhere, due to being differently appreciated, it appears different. Similarly, the light of the Lord is equally distributed everywhere, but due to being differently received, it appears to be different. One should not, therefore, accept the reflection of the moon on the water as actual and misunderstand the whole situation through monistic philosophy. The quivering quality of the moon is also variable. When the water is standing still, there is no quivering. A more settled conditioned soul quivers less. But due to material connection, the quivering quality is more or less present everywhere. ओम ज्ञान तिमिरंदस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरून मिलितम् येन तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोभिष्टं स्थापितम् येन भूतले स्वयं रूपः कदामयं ददाति स्वपदांतिकं वन्देहं श्री गुरो श्रीयुता पदकमलं श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश्च श्री रूपं सागरजातां सहगण रघुनाथान्वितांस्तं सजीवं साध्वेतम् सावधुतम् परिजना सहितम् कृष्णचैतन्य देवम् श्री राधा कृष्णपादान् सहगणा ललिता श्री विशाखान्वितांश्च नमाम् विष्णुपादाय कृष्णप्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्तिवेदांत स्वामी नितिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवानी प्रचारिने निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिने हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदा वनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमामि हरि प्रिय वांछा कल्पतरुभेश्च कृपा सिंधु भेवच पतितानाम पावने भ्यो वैष्णवे भ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्री वासादिगौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करो तिवां चालम पंगुम लंगा यते गिरिम यत कृपा तमहम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारिनम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरे कृष्णा सो आई सीक ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ ऑल ड्यूटीज सो दैट आई कैन स्पीक समथिंग व्हिच इज ग्लोरिफाइंग लॉर्ड फॉर ऑल ऑफ योर प्लेजर एंड फॉर माय प्यूरिफिकेशन सो टुडे सच conversation between Maitreya Rushi and Vidura. We will see three points mainly. First, what is monistic philosophy? 
which Prabhupada is mentioning and how it is wrong. Second, cause of suffering for an individual soul in the material world. And third, cause of suffering for a devotee in spiritual life. You know, so, so the first point about monistic philosophy, you know. When Lord Chaitanya, just before Ratayatra, uh, he had a, you know, he decided that he wanted to clean the Gundicha temple. Right? And then, you know, of course he called Kashi Mishra, the temple president, and Sarobham Bhattacharya. And playing the role of a devotee, he asked, I have a desire to clean the temple of Gundicha. Can I do so? So the temple president said, oh, you know, why you want to clean? You know, you just give us order, we'll do it. You know? Lord said, no, I'll do it along with the devotees. And then immediately, you know, they arranged for all the water pots and the brooms and, you know, all the paraphernalia required for cleaning. And they started cleaning Gundicha temple. In Chaitanya Charita Amrut Madhalila, 12th chapter, Beautiful description, you know, if we have to describe, it will take an hour, you know. So, Lord starts the temple cleaning and initially they collect all the dust and straws. And then after that, Lord says that, you know, let's clean again. And he again, you know, collects the finer dust particles and, you know, everything is like, you know, broomed very thoroughly. And then after that, Lord said, okay, now bring water pots. And there are hundreds of devotees, you know. There is a lake nearby, in the Dhyumna Sarovar. From there, they form a queue. And in the Ardhan pots, they bring water, you know. Uh, and they pass to each other. And Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami describes, they were not saying, hey, you know, give me the pot or take the pot. They were just saying, Krishna, Krishna. Say, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. And the devotee who is passing the pot, he used to understand what he is supposed to do. The devotee who is supposed to take the pot, he used to understand what is to be done. So like this, there was a tumultuous chanting at the same time. The cleaning was going on. You know. So everything was washed perfectly. Then Lord, with his uh, own uh, you know, uh, hands, he started cleaning and washing the simhasan where the deities would sit. And that time, uh, one of the Bengali devotee, you know, he poured the water on lotus feet of Lord and he drank, you know. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, though internally happy, just to show, uh, show proper etiquette, he called Swarup Damodar and he said, you know, just see what your Bengali Vaishnava has done, you know. So then Swarup Damodar takes him by neck and, you know, <laughs> puts him out. And then, you know, the cleaning goes on. And after all the cleaning is done, they clean. There is a Narasimha temple just on the bank of Indra Jumna Sarovar. They clean that Narasimha temple. And uh, then they start chanting and dancing. And as usual, you know, is, uh, uh, all devotees are, you know, singing and Lord Chaitanya is dancing and the Kirtan goes in ecstasy, you know, and it goes for a long time. And then uh, there incidents happen wherein Advaita Acharya's son, Gopal, you know, he fell unconscious. He's not able to revive, but you know, when Lord Chaitanya goes and puts his hand, he says, Gopal, get up. He immediately, you know, gets up and then all devotees again become jubilant. The chanting continues, then they go, they take bath. After taking bath, Vaninath Rai, you know, he brings Jagannath Prashad. You know, it's such a coincidence, we have our Vaninath Prabhu, you know, <laughs> he cooks for Lord here also. So, so, when the Prashadam was brought, that was enough for feeding more than, you know, 500 devotees. And that was all Mahaprasad, you know, not in, cooked in devotee kitchen, you know. <laughs> so, and there were rice, different types of rice and sabjis and cakes and sweets and, you know, savouries, you know. 
and that time everybody was sitting lord chaitanya he says that just give me some green vegetables and serve all the cakes and sweets to all devotees but uh, you know jagadanand pandit you know says you know no 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 he puts all the opulent footsteps in front of lord chaitanya and then uh, lord chaitanya was hesitant to eat because as a sanyasi but then he would know that if i don't eat uh, this jagadan pandit will fast for days you know so then he you know <laughs> slowly slowly takes little bit little bit then even swarup damodar offers the best of the sweet meats you know which is offered to lord jagannath and lord chaitanya takes some part of it and then he uh, gives like you know he tells to other devotees to serve like haridas takur sarobham bhattacharya nityanand prabhu advaita acharya so nityanand prabhu and advaita acharya they were sitting next to each other and they start joking with each other so must be wondering how from bhagavatam we jump to cc but you know here is the connection so uh, advaita acharya and nityanand prabhu they were sitting side by side and they engaged in a mock fighting so initially advaita acharya says that you know i am sitting in the line with an unknown mendicant and because i am eating with him i do not know what kind of destination is awaiting me says to him said you are avudhuta we don't know who are you by your association i don't know what uh, you know, where am i going to go sri so, chaitanya mahaprabhu as is advaita acharya continues chaitanya mahaprabhu is in renounced order and he does not recognize discrepancies as a matter of fact sanyasi is not affected by eating food from anywhere and everywhere but for a householder this kind of eating is faulty therefore it is not proper for a householder to dine with those whose previous birth family character and behavior are unknown the sadvaita acharya is telling to whom nityanand prabhu you know. then nityanand prabhu also you know he is he he also does not leave a chance he says that advaita acharya that you are a teacher of impersonal monism and the monistic conclusion is a great hindrance to the progressive pure devotional service one who participates in your impersonal monistic philosophy does not accept anything but the one brahman he continues you are such a monist and now i am eating besides you i do not know how my mind will affect in this way so this way uh, it appears that they are kind of you know deriding each other but krishna das kaviraj goswami says that actually only intelligent people knows meaning behind their talks so here actually nitanand pru though he is telling advaita acharya that you are a monist actually he is glorifying devotional service and he is refuting the claims of uh mayavadi philosophers so what is this monistic philosophy basically you know so hum i am that uh, one devotee was mentioning that uh, he read on a t-shirt that i was atheist till the point i realized that i was god <laughs> so the idea of uh, there were some gurus then you know the one of the guru he came to west and he said i have not come here to say that i am god but i have come here to say that we all are god you know so this monistic philosophy is very titillating you know in the sense it's you know, you know somebody is coming to you and then you are saying hey you know you are god it's a nice right at home his wife may not be listening to him but if somebody is giving him the giving him the stature of a god it's naturally very satisfying right so so we have to understand why it came at first we know that uh, the vedic civilization was going nicely but at one point the some of the brahmanas they took disadvantage of the animal sacrifices 
and they started killing them outrightly so to stop them uh, lord came as buddha and he tricked them saying that don't follow vedas just follow me ahinsa paramo dharma so they yes they stopped because that was required but then a lord knew that actually they are supposed to follow vedas in correct manner so to get back that faith again he sent shankaracharya wherein he said follow vedas but everything is one so hum so hum i am that i am that so basically the impersonal people they say that yes you perform devotional service and to a point you realize that you are god and then once you realize that impersonal brahman you don't have to follow anything it is like you take a ladder go on top and then you kick the ladder so but that is not correct philosophy that was just for time being and then we know that again shankara uh, after shankara acharya madhva acharya came ramanuja acharya came and they said that no actually there is advaita vadin you, know? you are you know uh, you are separate god is separate you know this famous pose of uh, madhva acharya you know is victory sign it's two always two and then ramanuja acharya again you know vishisht advaita vad yes. and then chaitanya mahaprabhu final stamp you know achintya bhedavet you are one in quality but you are minute lord is swarat you know he is unlimited so in this purport also shila prabhupada is mentioning that the foolish people think the moonlight to be the same as moon but though they are connected they are different that famous verse you know vadanti tat tattva vidas tattvam yatyan avyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagwan eti shabdate that there are three levels of realizations one is brahman higher than that is parmatma higher than that is bhagwan personal realization and then the famous example of a train when a train is coming from afar in night we just see a light after coming little closer we see there are bogies and when it comes in front of us we see that there are people sitting inside so same way the monistic they see only light krishna's you know uh, uh, brahma jyoti the you know effulgence coming out of krishna's uh, transcendental body but the the personalist they go one level up wherein they see the parmatma feature but the devotees they know krishna is a person separate so this is uh, one point shila prabhupada is mentioning about monistic philosophy that uh, prabhupada mentioned one should not therefore accept the reflection of the moon on the water as actual and misunderstand the whole situation through monistic philosophy so this is the first point second point this purport also beautifully explains reason a person is uh, miserable in this material world prabhupada is giving reference to the previous purport wherein he says that when a person is tainted by material qualities like illusion lamentation and miseries although pure soul although in a pure soul such qualities are completely absent he feels that pain and he gives example like you know cutting off a head so simple to understand i bring a new car the most prized one electric with all 100 features and i do abhishek you know not abhishek i do puja you know <laughs> put narsinga dev's photo and some you know some guy comes takes a stone and tash, hits on the windshield what happens we feel as if got a cardiac arrest right ah, my car so, has something happened to us no we the more we identify ourselves with car more pain we will feel so same way the spirit soul 
he because of his ignorance because of the savidya shakti covering him he misidentifies himself with this body therefore though he is sachidananda he experiences real misery another example prabhupad gives this right person in a dream and he sees a lion chasing him right and he is sweating sweating and getting up there is no lion but in the dream he was about to get devoured so why there is like you know there is a sweat that means he is actually experiencing misery why is it hap- happening ignorance avidya the more we misidentify ourselves with this material world and the body more to that extent we will feel the pain so in this uh, purport prabhupad is giving that uh, you know this the if the water is more disturbed the moon will appear more quivering but if water is still the moon will appear still that means if you are in goodness when you have less identification with this material world you will experience less pain because by nature soul we as a soul spirit soul we are not at all uh, we are sachidananda right full of knowledge full of bliss and full of eternity but more we identify more we feel the pain so then how to get out of it so om agyanati mirandasya gyananjana shalakaya when the spiritual master enlighten us with the torch light of knowledge that time this ignorance is dissipated and then we come to this you know from ignorance to passion to goodness to shuddha sattva and that time we can clearly see that my identification with this material world is false so uh, more we realize that more we are free from that pain okay. in mathematics you know those who studied i remember you know college they have you know proportional to right you have heard this term say so identification a misery in this material world is proportional to our identification with material body directly proportional to and it is inversely proportional to our spiritual uh uh spiritual knowledge you know spiritual realization so so this is the cause of misery and this is solution now the third point i know but you know i come to spiritual life uh, but there also i feel then you know sometimes misery right uh, rather sometimes the duties feel m- more pain of course you know one is about pure duties uh, who feel pain because you know they see the suffering souls that's that's beyond this level that's not the material pain but uh, as a sadhaka you know we feel troubles right while practicing why it's happening so prabhupada is giving this uh, nice statement he says the light of the moon on the taj mahal appears to be more beautiful than the same light in the wilderness although the light of the moon is same everywhere due to being differently appreci- appreciated it appears differently similarly the light of lord is equally distributed everywhere but due to being differently received it appears to be different so actually this is the cause in spiritual life also what happens is that we start comparing oh you know this fellow came after me rather i only per- preached him he is getting more mercy why not me what we are doing we are receiving the mercy differently all of us we have mercy of krishna all of us we have mercy of spiritual master but the moment we start comparing what happens it's like uh, you know uh, we are not being proper recipient of that mercy i heard a nice statement he said that uh, comparison is a fuel to the engine of envy may it be material or may it be spiritual and the envy is a root cause of our existence in material world so we have to be very careful when we compare of course it is said that when 
when we are materially disturbed we should compare with those who are below us from material standards you know you know if i feel that i don't have uh, you know say uh, posh bungalow i can say there are homeless people krishna has given me nice house but spiritually we should compare with those who are above us hey he is such a sincere devotee let me become that right of course i am speaking all that for myself is yes. so but what happens problem comes when we reverse this comparison when we say hey you know this yon musk is billionaire you know why not i problem starts and in spiritual life when we compare why he is getting mercy why i am not problem starts so this prupa statement such a beautiful he is giving this example of moon though the moon moonlight is uh no the last line no when the water is standing still there is no quivering a more settled condition soul quivers less but due to material connection the quivering quality is more or less present everywhere so if we see somebody more spiritually advanced we should appreciate and by doing that what happens our water quivering water becomes more stable and we also become more stable and we can uh, avoid suffering within spiritual circles so yeah one one is that suffering outside material circle that yes we understand when we come to spiritual platform then yeah that is philosophy takes care of that you know but within to avoid the suffering within spiritual circle uh, we have to understand that each one is uh, you know uh, god's son and each one has same mercy of their spiritual master depends on our how we receive it so to summarize we discuss what is monistic philosophy you know everything one and we discuss the conversation between nitanand pro and uh, advaita acharya but we saw that how uh, bhagavatam again and again stresses that no that's not correct conception actually there are three levels of realizations brahman is just starting there is parmatma and bhagwan realization and then we saw the root cause of suffering in this material world misidentification due to ignorance you know uh, is the root cause and what is the then solution come out of illusion is to awaken by knowledge by spiritual master and then we saw that uh, third thing is once we come to spiritual life there also can be suffering if we bring in those material qualities of comparison and how to avoid that again same process you know by realizing that is you know uh, krishna's mercy is available for all it is that i have to become a proper recipient and then i'll also get the same mercy so with that would like to stop any questions comment okay okay grantra shrimad bhagavatam ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai nitai gur pramanandi